Project-based learning is developing 21st century skills such as problem solving, collaboration and communication. It focuses on, on developing creative thought and teamwork to achieve an outcome. Students become engaged in the learning process who are then able to build on those skills and encourages students to deepen their knowledge of a subject. The starting point of the problem-based learning is the driving question. This can take considerable time to craft as it needs to take the students to the desired outcome of the project, to the, to the end product. It needs to be authentic, it needs to be intriguing, and it needs to be complex. So students need to work together to find the answer. They need to be, it needs to be communicated clearly so that students understand exactly where they need to go. It needs to be a problem that they have to solve. There are many valuable and helpful resources to be found over the web. Bianca Hughes' blog provides an interesting insight into how to teach project-based learning. She explains well what worked and what didn't work in her classroom. The other one that was particularly helpful was the resources from the Buck Institute. That had, it had lots of practical help and videos to show exactly how to craft a project that's suitable for any age. Um, what we could do. I decided to do my project on poetry as it's something we'll be focusing on in our classroom for this term. English is an area I'm interested in. The driving question started with different, looking at different types of poetry but I kept referring back to Bianca Hughes' website as some of her projects were on poetry already. Um, I, although her students are older, I noticed she focused on a theme rather than a type of poem. I came across the quote down here by Charlie Chaplin on why should poetry have to make sense? And I thought this had definite possibilities. There are many nonsense poems that younger students enjoy that allows them to explore while also having lots of fun playing with words. This YouTube clip I found on the Jabberwocky was, I thought, a good starting point for our project. It shows some girls going on a Jabberwocky hunt and I thought this could lend itself well to younger students going on a Jabberwocky hunt as well. The project that I've come up with is going to be called Poetry. is nonsense. And the driving question would be, should poetry make sense? The um, beginning of the project would be start with painting or drawing a picture of a Jabberwocky. It's getting the children to suggest what it might look like getting them to think about what the word suggests and then using that to think about and compare that to the film that we see in the last clip. That would lead into looking at different types of words that they could create that are nonsense words, looking at different poets that are nonsense poets, looking at the way um, they're structured, looking at rhyme and rhythm. The students would then create their own poem, but either as an individual project or collaboratively. This would then be uh, presented as either a movie or some kind of pro production that could be shown to an audience. And that would be our project.